Okay. So, dear brothers, uh, in uh, Christ, uh, last week we studied about uh, Antichrist, uh, some of the important things uh, we studied about uh, how the Antichrist uh, is going to uh, come again into power and the, the period of Antichrist, uh, we actually studied that uh, it began when the three horns uh, mentioned in uh, Daniel 7 chapter fell. So since then, uh, this uh, Antichrist uh, came into power <clears throat> and it is uh, since 539 that the Antichrist began to rule. And uh, we also saw the period of the Antichrist. Uh, home brother, do you remember what is the period of uh, Antichrist? Home brother, you are there? Seventeen ninety nine. Very good, excellent. So it ended in seventeen ninety nine. So total the period is uh, thousand uh, two sixty years. It began from five thirty nine. So why do we take uh, five thirty nine? If you see in Daniel seven chapter, we read about the fourth beast, which was different from uh, all the other uh, three beast. And the speciality of the fourth beast was that uh, it had uh, horns on its uh, head. It had ten horns. And uh, suddenly, a little horn began to grow in between them. And uh, because of it, uh, the three horns were uh, uh, plucked out from the roots. So what is the date that the uh, three horns were uh, plucked out? If you see, uh, that is actually from uh, 539. So 1260 years since 539 actually brings us to 1799. So exactly correct what you said, uh, brother, home brother. So 539 to 1799 is actually the period of Antichrist. So if you see in the history, since 1799, the Pope's uh, uh, aristocratic rule uh, of uh, civil as well as the religious uh, aspect uh, is totally uh, ended. So how did it end? Uh, do you remember what happened in 1799? What happened to the Pope? Was any Pope arrested? What happened? Do you remember, brother? Home brother? Sorry, I'm, I'm not sorry. Sorry. Okay. So, uh, what happened in 1799 to Pope? Uh, any idea, brother? Okay. So, in 1799, uh, tell me, brother. Home brother, tell me. Brother, tell me you are telling something. Okay, in 1799, uh, Pope Pius VI was arrested by Napoleon Bonaparte and he was uh, transferred from jail to jail. So, ultimately, what happened is that uh, uh, the uh, Pope uh, actually died in the jail itself. And uh, until uh, such time, uh, Pope was claiming that he had uh, all the blessings in his right hand and all the cursings in his uh, left hand. So if he curses anybody, automatically what will happen that everybody will be uh, pushed into hell and they will suffer a lot. And the right hand, he had a lot of blessings. If he blesses somebody, immediately the doors of heaven will be opened. And uh, uh, people who were uh, living during uh, those days were very orthodox and uh, very religious. And uh, they had uh, this uh, false uh, belief uh, that... Uh, really Pope had this uh, power. But once uh, when Napoleon Bonaparte uh, took both hands of Pope and chained it and cuffed it, uh, you see, uh, and uh, made him to roam around all the streets of Paris, uh, people realized that uh, Pope uh, power was uh, nothing. It was uh, really a waste of uh, uh, only words. Then we also saw uh, that uh, the number triple six, uh, because uh, whenever you speak about Antichrist, whenever the word Antichrist comes to our mind, immediately the next thing that comes to our mind is that uh, what about triple six? The mark uh, that is put on the head and the mark that is put on the hand. Uh, do you remember, brother, anything about triple six? Uh, home brother, can you tell me about anything about triple six? What do you, uh, what did we read about triple six in last week?
read, read it about uh, Africans and it is about uh, um, uh, very good. Yeah. This is like uh, a corrupted system and it's about a uh, all teaching. Okay, how do we calculate triple six? Do you remember anything about it? Okay. So we will see. So last week we studied about uh, the triple six, how it was calculated. Uh, uh, you see, uh, it is given in uh, uh, Revelation 13 chapter. Uh, read brother, Revelation 13 chapter brother. Revelation chapter 13 verses uh, <clears throat> uh, 18, brother. Home brother can you read verses 18, Revelation 13, 18. Um, there is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is 603 score and 6. Very good brother. So here it says uh, let him that at understanding count the number of the beast. That means a beast is having a number. So which is that beast? We studied last week. That is uh, mentioned in Revelation 13 chapter verses 1, 2 and 3. It is having a body of a, a leopard and a mouth as a lion and the hands uh, and the legs as a bear and the great red dragon gave its power to this beast. So this is actually... <clears throat> Speaking about the great uh, Antichrist uh, system, which is having uh, power. So, the great uh, Antichrist uh, system that is compared to a beast, that means this Antichrist system has got a number. And it says this verse, let him count the numbers. So, how do we arrive at this triple six? If you see, it is by counting the numbers. So, how do we calculate? How do we count the numbers? If you see, Pope is having various titles and one of the important title is uh, Vicarious Philidi. This is the title that is put upon his crown and the entrance of the Vatican City. So what is the meaning of Vicarious Philidi? If you see, Vicar, Vicar means what? Vice Sergeant. Vice Sergeant was Vice President. You see, Vice means what? Instead of President. So Vicarious Philidi means instead of Son of God instead of God. So, he claims by this title that he is a representative of God on this earth. He claims himself to be directly the son of God. You see, the representative of God as God on this earth. That is the, uh, you see, definition of this uh, name. And if you see, we have studied in our school days that each and every uh, Roman numericals have got a number. Isn't it, brother? We have studied, no? In our school days, hope you all uh, have uh, clearly understood that one, numbers of Romans. So here also, if you see, Vicarious Philidi. So in these letters, each and every alphabet has got a number. Like uh, Vicarious, you see, V means 5, I means 1, C means 100, A is, a, again, it has got no numericals, so it is 0, R is also 0, I also means uh, 1, V means uh, 5 and S uh, uh, means 0. So, totally, if you calculate for Vicarious, uh, uh, the number comes to actually, you see, uh, 112. And Philly, F means 0, I means again 1, L means 50, I means 1, and again I means 1. So, total 53. And D, D E I. D in Roman numericals means 500, E means 0, I means 1, so 501. So total, if you calculate the entire, uh, you see, uh, numbers, if you get uh, uh, triple six. So this is what we studied. So what is the meaning of triple six? If you see, it is not a literal number. 
it is a, a symbolic number he says in that verse only he that has understanding let him count the number so this is how we count and calculate triple six this is the number of the beast dear brethren whoever believes in the doctrine of the antichrist about the false system the claims and all it is actually that we are taking the seal and putting it on ourselves if we believe if we trust those systems if we believe in those doctrines about the false doctrines about hell soul trinity you see and the false doctrines of our tongues miracles the false doctrines about the lord's memorial supper the baptism various other doctrines if we still believe in those false things then uh, it is that we are putting the doctrine uh, number 366 on our head and hand means what hand means not a little hand hand means support <clears throat> if we keep on lending our support to the civil system and it means that we are putting the 366 uh, seal on our hand therefore the bible says that uh, this is a symbolic uh, you see and meaning and whosoever has this uh, 366 upon their head and their hand only those people can do transaction of uh, giving and taking food means what uh, giving and taking uh, spiritual food in the market so those who don't have you see this uh, mark upon their hand uh, or and or either on the head uh, they are not allowed to do any Uh, doctrinal transactions therefore this truth what we are preaching we can never find it in any of the bible societies any of the churches in this world why because this uh, is the real truth of the brand therefore we studied about uh, all these things uh, in the last uh, class so we are going to uh, study you see uh, about uh, the antichrist further in uh, today's class so there is one more uh, angle where antichrist is described and that is in the book of revelation chapter 12 so let us read uh, revelation chapter 12 brother we'll go through the symbolic uh, definitions that we mentioned in revelation chapter 12 uh, gopal brother uh, can you read brother revelation chapter 12 sure. from verse 1 and there appeared a great wonder in heaven a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and upon her head a crown of 12 stars very good so here yeah, uh, john sees a vision where a woman uh, is uh, is shown in the heaven and she was clothed with sun having the moon under her feet and she had a 12 uh, you see stars uh, as a crown upon her head everybody thinks that this is mother mary okay so mother mary is the one who, uh, who is uh, you see uh, clothed in sun and she is protected by god and all the things and all why because she gave birth to a male child that is uh, mentioned in uh, verse 5 read with verse 5 brother ha huh? and she brought forth a man, man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron and her see? child he says uh, she was supposed to bring forth a man child who was supposed to rule the nations with a rod of iron so generally who is going to rule with a rod of iron everybody thinks it was jesus jesus uh, jesus is a uh, second coming is going to rule with a rod of iron so hence they come to the conclusion that uh, this is mother mary and the child is jesus but uh, read what happens in verse 6 hmm. Read with her. Verse six. Ah, oh, sure, brother. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she hath a place prepared of God, that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and three score days. You see, as soon as she gave birth, immediately the woman fled into, ah, huh? she fled into wilderness. It seems so. For how many days? Ah, thousand two sixty days. I mean, three and a half years. Ah. Uh, when did mary run away as soon as she gave birth to jesus did run did she go away to any desert ah huh? no did run uh, so this is not at all speaking about mary neither is speaking about jesus christ 
just imagine if jesus was supposed to sit on the throne and rule the world with a iron rod why will mary run away you see you imagine if you are becoming a prime minister of a chief minister of a nepal will your mother run away so no if she has run away she will come and near you and that is the you see incident at your but here is totally different therefore this is not at all speaking about the mother mary then what is the meaning of this one if you see actually this is a total symbolic meaning so in the revelation book it is a symbolic book it is completely written in symbolic language each and every symbol has a code we need to decode those code and understand the bible you see in revelation 13 chapter we read now last time four you see the body was like a leopard the mouth was like a lion hands and feet were like a bear that is all symbolic similar revelation 12 chapter is also symbolic therefore you read with it verse 12 if you see sorry verse 1 of 12 chapter if you see it says they saw a great wonder in heaven heaven means what huh? about of god where god is living actually heaven in the bible has got three meanings one is the place where god himself is living and second is the you see outer universe and the third is the sky so this wonder where did apostle you see john see it is in the spiritual heavens there is saw a woman it seems a so woman actually in the bible is compared to the church a church is compared to a woman in the bible first second corinthians 11 2 apostle paul says now that uh, we are engaged into you see a christ uh, as a chaste virgin so the church was virginally you see covered with the sun moon and the stars you see sun huh, is uh, the new testament and the moon means in the bible is a old testament how if you see the sun actually huh, shines brightly but the moon doesn't have its own light it reflects the light of the sun similarly old testament can be understood only with the light of the new testament without the light of the sun the new testament old testament can never be understood dear brethren therefore in the bible sun means huh, what new testament and the moon means old testament the church was covered completely with the new testament and it stood upon the foundation of the old testament and uh, it had 12 stars as a crown why only 12 stars how many apostles were there tell me how many apostles were there brother 12 12 very good these these are the beautiful shining stars we have a sports star a film star these are the biblical stars who shined as stars in the you see ecclesiastical heavens the spiritual world these were as a crown for the church dear brethren read ephesians 220 brother ephesians 220 ephesians 220 Mm-hmm. and are built up on the foundations of the apostles and prophets jesus christ himself being the chief cornerstone see foundation of the prophets old testament uh, the church is built uh, then suddenly in verse 3 what happens is sir uh, verse 2 we see that uh, she was being with child cried travailed in birth and pain to be delivered is him sir and verse 3 brother read brother verse 2 and 3 read brother revelation 12 Two and three, and she being with child cried, traveling in birth and pain to be delivered, and there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads. You see, see what is this? Suddenly, the woman was traveling with a child to give birth. Eh? When will the woman get pregnant? after marriage when will the church actually beget a child it is only with after reunion with the jesus christ and that will happen only at the second coming of lord jesus christ dear brethren so the church along with jesus christ is going to reproduce the whole world back to life and it is going to happen only at the second coming but here if you see even before the second advent of christ the church is pregnant it seems what is the meaning of this one that means something which should not be growing inside the church is growing 
and this child that is growing inside the church is a small development of the great antichrist system the antichrist system is developing inside the church you see that's what apostle paul said now in the first class we studied now what did apostle paul say after me going what will happen many false antichrist shall rise from you they will teach uh, perverse doctrines and draw the people after them so antichrist was already growing when the apostles were alive but suddenly what happened you see as soon as the child was supposed to be delivered there was a great red dragon you see standing in front of roman church who is the red dragon which is that uh, uh, you see uh, empire is it uh, babylon medo persia or greece which is empire roman very good roman empire the roman empire was waiting to completely annihilate the church that it be the false or the true church they did not want the christians to grow at all so who was waiting to devour the entire community of christians if you see the ran it is the roman empire they were persecuting the church but suddenly what happened if you see in verse 4 it says uh, the dragon's tail drew the third part of the stars from the sky and made to fall on the ground so stars we already seen is the biblical stars the romans began to persecute the christians so once they persecute the christians slowly the biblical stars fell from the sky that means they all died in death apostle paul apostle john all the apostles perished so once the apostles perished what happened the child began to huh, come out so until the apostles were there the antichrist could not manifest outside it was inside inside the church but what happened once apostles died the antichrist came out you see then what happened is uh, brother verse 5 brother uh. and she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron and her child was caught up unto god and to his throne you see suddenly the child was caught up to god it seems as soon as the child is born can he go and sit uh, on the throne will anybody make the child to sit on the throne that means this is something which is abnormal he seems to be like a small child but having a maturity as a king to rule that means as soon as the antichrist manifested itself outside it began to rule like a king that's what apostle paul says in second thessalonians second chapter verse 6 and 7 that he will sit as god and claim all things appertaining to god you see the abram therefore the antichrist began to rule and claim all the titles right you see began to god and pope you see ruled as a supreme king but once the antichrist came to the power what happened to the condition of the church where did the church go away verse 5 brother uh sorry verse 6 brother uh and the woman fled into the wilderness where she had a place prepared of god see she went into the wilderness that means wilderness means a place nobody is living the church was isolated remember you see jesus where did he preach the word of god once he was cast out of jerusalem once he was cast out of the temple he never came to jerusalem he went and preached in the desert in the mountains near the seashore but he never came to the temple again till the last was, the church was totally isolated it was disfellowshipped you see the real church was in a wilderness condition but uh, god had prepared a place for her to be nourished for a period of 1260 days means 1260 years during you see where there was no truth the bible was not translated it was kept in latin language god never forsake the true church as elisha elaja was fed you see with you see bread from a crow similarly the true church was feed fed by god with the bread of life you see uh, read verse 14 brother ha huh? read verse 14 in that chapter ha uh. 14 and to the woman were given two wings of great eagles 
that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time for the face of the serpent. The serpent means Satan, you see, and uh, she was woman, woman with the church, and she was given the wings of eagle. Means eagle means what in the Bible? Wisdom. We studied about the four characters of God now, Revelation 4 chapter. You see, one is like a lion, one is like a calf, other is like a face of a man. Fourth is like a flying eagle. Eagle means wisdom. The word of God. Bible has two wings. Old Testament, New Testament. This only supported the church to survive in the wilderness condition where she was not at all recognized. Then, when she was in the wilderness condition, what happened in the church? That means among the false church, among the antiquary system, what happened? That is what is given in verse 7. Read with the verse 7 and verse 8. Brother. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels. And prevailed hmm. read, read, read with them. And prevail not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. See, there was a war in heaven, it seems. Sir. Everybody, Roman Catholic thinks that oh, this is Jesus, and Jesus, uh, you see, when Jesus was born immediately, there was a war between uh, Satan and uh, Michael. Angel came from heaven to fight with the Satan. It seems. No, 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 no. This is actually, you see, huh? Huh? who is this dragon? This is the Roman Empire. <laughs> dragon means the Roman Empire. So, what is the meaning of this Michael? Huh? Michael, who is My Michael in the Bible? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. But it is not, but here it is not the real Jesus Christ. This is the counterfeit Jesus Christ. Duplicate Christ. That is called as the Antichrist. What would the duplicate Jesus is there? Yes, duplicate Jesus is there in the Bible. Keep a hand like this only. We'll come again to Revelation. Open your Bibles to 2 Corinthians 11 chapter. 2 Corinthians 11 chapter, verse 4. Huh? 2 Corinthians 11, 4. Huh? Uh, read with Rome. For if he that come preach another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if he are received another spirit, which we have not received, or another gospel, which we have not accepted, See, if another I Jesus, brother, another gospel, another spirit. That means duplicate is there. Which is this duplicate? The Jesus Christ, if you say this is the Antichrist. So here it is speaking about the false Mikhail. That means the counterfeit Antichrist system. Here again is pictured by Mikhail. There was a great war between Mikhail and his angels and dragon and his angels. That means there was, a, you see, a warfare for religious identity among whom among the roman catholics and their bishops the popes the cardinals and also among the roman they had a pagan religion they had their own priest high priest and all these things and all so therefore in the spiritual events there were a war between these two that uh, pagan religion was supposed to be there or uh, the roman catholic uh, you see the great antique system was supposed to be there then who won the war? If you see, yeah, automatically, you see, dear brethren, the great Antichrist, the Mikhail won the war and there was no place found for the devil. That's what is given in verse uh, 9. So hence, uh, this great Antichrist system came to power uh, by using the name of Jesus Christ. Read uh, Revelation 12, 11, brother. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. See, they, how did they overcome? They overcome only with the word of God. Using the name of God, you see, they came to power. That's what is given in verse uh, 11. Uh, so, they overcome by using the word of God. Even uh, we 
saw the example of uh, Constantine, you see, emperor getting converted uh, uh, to Christianity. How? By well, seeing a vision of the cross. Uh, that's what he claims, no? So, uh, hence what happened, you see, within the great Antichrist uh, came to power. But uh, once when Antichrist was ruling, what was the condition of the church? Uh, we see that uh, in uh, Revelation uh, 12, chapter verse 14, we saw that uh, the church uh, was in a wilderness condition and she was given two wings of a uh, eagle. We study that uh, these are the word of God that supported, uh, uh, you see, the church to sustain in the isolated condition. But once the 1260 uh, days or the years are ended, she has again to come back uh, yeah, from the wilderness condition. So then what happened? Uh, read Revelation uh, 12 chapter verse 15, brother. Uh, and the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman, that See? he might mm -hmm. cause her to be carried away of the flood. See? So as soon as the 1260 uh, years ended, that means 1799, uh, what did the, the serpent do? The Satan, that means serpent means Satan, he cast out the, you see, water as a flood. You see, so that uh, the Women may be totally, you see, passed away, may be carried away in the flood. But unfortunately, that did not happen. So, what is the meaning of this one, dear brother? If you see, uh, here, uh, from the mouth of the serpent, you see, it says, uh, flood after the woman, uh, the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood. So, you know, water in the Bible means the truth, so the word of God. So, from the mouth of the serpent means uh, uh, Satan and the evil sources, the truth was exposed, which was withheld for so many years from evil sources. You see, and that is the time that the great flood of truth came into existence. This happened in the French Revolution. You see, in the French Revolution, the people revolted against the princes uh, uh, and, uh, you see, uh, bureaucrats. All were pulled out and brought to streets and they were slaughtered in front of everybody. So this truth about injustice, you see, and awareness came to the people and the people revolted against those system. So slowly what happened? You see, this revolt, this revolution was formed with the intention that the church also may be persecuted and killed along with the bureaucrats in this great revolution. But unfortunately, this did not happen. But what happened if you see verse uh, uh, 16, brother. Read verse 16, brother. Huh? And the earth held the woman, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. See, the earth swallowed the water, it says. Earth means again, the society, the people digested the truth. The digested the awareness and awakening in the French Revolution. So instead of uh, persecuting the church, they began to persecute the bureaucrats. So since then, the flood of, uh, you see, truth uh, began to be spreading from 1719. Therefore, if you see, from 1719 only, the Bible began to be translated in all the, you see, various uh, languages of this world and Bible societies to were uh, opened. So this is how the Antichrist is again pictured in a symbolic way in Revelation 12 chapter. You see? So it is pictured by a woman, how she was cast out to the wilderness for 1260 years. That means from 539, she was not at all recognized till 1799. During that time, there was a great warfare among the Antichrist system for a power and a hierarchy. But at the end of 1260 years, when woman, the church was supposed to come to back to prominence, that is the time the Satan tried to destroy it. You see, destroy the church with the flood of truth and awareness. But unfortunately, the people digested the truth and instead of persecuting the church, you see, it uh, totally destroyed the evil system. So, dear uh, brethren, this is how the Antichrist is again uh, pictured uh, in uh, you see, Revelation 12 chapter. So, this is the end of uh, Antichrist class. So, I have already sent the notes. I will again try to resend the notes about part 1, 2, and 3. Kindly go through it. 
Any doubts, any questions, you can ask. Anybody has got any questions? Any uh, doubts? Gopal brother, home brother, any doubts, any questions? Home brother? I'll see again, brother, and I will ask if I'll get any confusion. Okay, kindly go through it. Uh, 